continuing on on the music front continuing on on the music front we have to talk about my favorite club in the world your favorite club in the world bitch you guessed it burger and panorama bar so burger and panorama bar put out the lineup the program for june it's a new month the june lineup is already out and i am over the fucking moon i could legitimately ejaculate in my pants right now at the lineup that i have to show you regarding june so to start off the first weekend of june which is the first of june this first saturday look already this fucking lineup Bergheim main room you got Daria Kulosova playing who I feel like she's become like an unofficial resident weirdly enough which is pretty cool because she it felt like she was kind of going in the business techno type of lane but she kind of steered it back in and now is kind of highly regarded because I felt like her boyfriend husband whatever Etap Kyle he was the one I felt like had a bit more of a solid reputation solid kind of you know notoriety in that club but she's also come in and did her thing and from what i can see on the on the listing she's always there so big up to dire crossover for fucking smashing it you got fido playing you got inner Kax, kaiser len Faki, marcel deepman playing there back again nice to see him there um and then you got ron albert and then of course in panama bar this is for me the best lineup i've seen in a long time and i'm and i have it to decide which lineup to go to because this is fucking crazy you got you got arm from innovision playing right who i'm a big fan of you got heidi lorden absolute legend big up her you got Mer M marie moxon monks terrier i always pronounce her name wrong marie monks terrier playing as well who i'm a big fan of you guys know this and of course one of my djing heroes seth fucking troxler that's already one two three four people that I'd easily pay 25 to 50 dollars to see each of them playing one time in a club in london and all four are playing in fucking panama bar on the same night along with nemo along with francesco menudi along with Deepa, along with castro like god damn it what a good lineup then we go back to the fucking list and we say you know what, what else is a good lineup look at this you got a random line you got a random gig with dax j playing in the in, in the sour room which is kind of like their live performance space i don't know what he's going to be doing there he's doing a 10 to 5 night i don't know if there's any more details about what's happening there not really got any details so i'm assuming there's some sort of live show dax j's back to into kind of prominence i wasn't really a fan when i saw him recently i think in e1 a few years ago he kind of sounded a bit shit um but so, uh, regarding what i've heard online he's kind of back to his form before so that's great to see so dax j's performing there we've got a love on the rocks night happening we've got christian ab who i'm a big fan of again if you're a house person i recommend you check out the love on the rocks nights and christian ab is definitely one of my um favorite house minimal type djs to kind of check out and of course crombie is one i'm a big fan of so big up those two um again the following club match here who else you got here playing which i'm a big fan of you've got here on the 8th of june you've got renee wise is closing that's the one that i kind of want to go to so i have to decide do i go on the first and then see panorama bar um, and all those guys playing or do i switch it and try and go in the second week of june and then see Renee Wise closing Bergheim main room. And then in a fucking panel room. Look at who you got in a panel room. Like, come on, man. Partok. You know what I mean? Violetta, Yun Sung. Like, come on, mate. Come on. That's good enough to go. Do you know what I mean? Good enough. But I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to decide. Because for sure, this is going to be the night that all the heads are going to be there, right? All the all the cool kids are going to be out in force for this one. Because Renee Wise closing Bergheim for the first time is a big, big deal. Um, especially considering he's come up and whatnot. So that should be a fucking good one. Um, and of course, you've got Fadi Mohem on there. you got Esposito, a big fan of. Um, F. Demin, who, in, in my opinion, is another very underrated um, Bergheim residence, resident in the same lane is like end bout camera so that would be cool to check out um you got a poems by alpha knight uh you also got weirdos happening this is also good oh no what the fuck really chippy nonstop is playing burghai that's hilarious <laughs> she's so shit chippy nonstop is there <laughs> playing back to back at lol snake i love her she's really awesome um rachel noon is also really good um but wow chippy nonstop is playing in burghai that's fucking wild that's why I'm thinking, you know what? If I'm Peggy Goo, I'm pissed. If I'm Peggy Goo, I'm saying, look, if Chippy Nonstop can play in Bur in, well, I guess it's not technically Bergheim, it's a sour room, but whatever. If Peggy non if Chippy Nonstop Peggy Nonstop, if Chippy Nonstop can play in Bergheim, so can Peggy Goo. So if I'm her, I'm pissed. I'm calling my agent. Like that's 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 not cool. 
I'm not having that. Do you know what I mean? Like, no way. Because Peggy has enough of a reason, enough of a right to go play there if that girl's playing there because she's fucking garbage. But again, just me, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, Finest Fridays on the 14th, another really good one. Um, again, for the house heads, I can't say enough good words about Pablo Boozy. Um, synth pop, new wave, indie dance, um, EBM just incredible really fucking good honestly if you if you're a fan of that type of shit um you know i, I recommend you check him out honestly I, like, there's nothing else i can say about him he's so fucking good pablo bozzi definitely one of my favorites so definitely check him out brian kessler as well um I've actually i think he might have a new ep out at the moment no i think he's got a new ep out at the moment but either way um finest fridays on the 14th with Pablo bozzi and brian kessler will be good um the following friday saturday on the 15th um this is a really good night you got boris here playing i'm a big fan of kelza uh rika zalan i'm also a good fan of philip philip apasha uh panorama bar who do i like here alinica i like soundstream i like uh virginia i like monty luke i like um you've got a crack night happening as well with dying so oh that oh i thought, I thought that was dying syndrome i'd say no it's drag syndrome okay somebody different we continue on another big night that i'm also thinking of going to is the 22nd um bergheim main night uh, bergheim main room dvs1 leah uchi um parama bar you got chris cruz who's another really good um house disco ish type dj delano smith is a legend good jansen one of my favorite djs playing and producers um and who else oh you got black De devil disco club as well playing in soul so this is a very housey oriented night actually if you think about it it's very light and fluffy even with ryan elliott and steffi playing main room a lot of this is very housey so this is a very lovely this is a this is a probably night if you're going to come to a night in bergheim and you're going to wear your normal clothes that you usually wear out i do advise that my advice to most people is don't turn up there looking like a fucking techno ninja go there wearing what you'd usually wear like, like wear like a bright shirt or something you know put, put some color on why the fuck not um this is a good night to do it on the 22nd that's a good night because a lot of these people are quite disco-y housey um you know party vibes um, adjacent but again i could be wrong and then scrolling 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 down um one of the bigger nights again for the end of the month is the 29th which features ben clock in the main room og is there um ggfm orgazon um, you got set up Seattle Mass, who a lot of people are a big fan of as well. Um, he's definitely somebody people look at in terms of the same vein as like the Marons and the Rene Wises and shit. So if you're a fan of that type of vibe, you'll definitely like him. Um, I like him as well, but he always looks very sweaty when I see him play. I'm not too sure if it's the Ketty or if it's just him in general. I don't, I, I don't like the sweat. He just looks very sweaty all the time when I see him. But he, he looks like a fucking, he, he plays amazing stuff, great producer and shit, but just too sweaty for my liking. Uh, Pano Bar, you got Ida, Cormac, who I'm a big fan of, great fucking disco DJ. Um, definitely one of my favorites. Jennifer Loveless, Joe DeLeon, Katy, um, sorry, Katie De Jesus, and one of my favorite underrated, um, Pano Bar DJs in general, and Balkama, and they're generally a good guy, a nice guy. Whenever I've bumped into him, Pano Bar and said hi, he's always said hi back, which is lovely because you know I've had some very dicey runnings with DJs. So whenever <laughs> I see him and my jaw swinging from left to right, and he still says hi to me, it always kind of fills me with joy. So I'm gonna be an end Balkama, um, you know, defender for the end, and of course Optima as well. Less said about him, the better. Obviously, absolute legend. So that should be fucking good. But yeah, um, all in all, stacked june lineup absolutely stacked june lineup but i have seen some people specifically on you know the forums and whatnot and the spaces and the reddits and the instagram pages complaining about this lineup saying oh it's just the same old it's like people are spoiled isn't it and it's, it's understandable why because berlin's one of the best dance music cities in the world legitimately one of the best dance music cities in the world there's so many clubs um the culture around clubbing is really mature it's kind of it's really i guess mainstream that's what you could call it right you don't look you're not looked at as a freak if you if you rave out a lot it's, you know there's not a lot of like lifestyle shaming as there is over here in the uk um you know there's a there's a grown-up attitude towards drugs and alcohol and shit and fucking all this sort of stuff right it's just a fun place to go and party and to you know enjoy the music dance meet new people bloody blah blah blah, blah. 
and obviously because of that it's also the mecca for people to move over there for that shit so i'm assuming a lot of labels are over there or in the vicinity a lot of artists live there all the big clubs people want to play at are in there so it makes sense but i think if you just kind of zoom out a little bit and just look at the fucking lineup that's on these you know the names listed here and you think about the you know the price that they pay so that they charge you is like what 30 euros maybe 10 more if you do a re-entry or five or ten more if you do a re-entry in total let's say 50 euros including your train ticket to go to the place 50 euros to see all of these people at any given night and the night ends on fucking monday come on bro like come on be a little bit grateful i understand if you live there in berlin and you are really obsessive over the lineup and checking who how many new names are there I, I can understand why seeing some patterns of the same people is annoying like for instance people always complain about dario Kolosova, right whatever that aside let, let's say she's on there too much you still got all the other names on there who legitimately in london specifically you're paying at least 30 pounds to see dario play on her own on the lineup with other people you don't really give a fuck about let alone you got everyone else playing there marcel dietman ron alberch like Fidel, come on man like like and then you, and then you and then in the same club you've got a room where if you don't like oots 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 you don't like fucking hard fast dark techno with people wearing double sold fucking dr martins and harnesses and stuff if you don't like all that sort of shit you can go into a room upstairs where it's light and airy and hear people you know like um castro deeper francesco menudi Hi heidi lorden heidi lorden sorry um marie moxteria nemo Seth trucks are playing like you can all in the same space you don't have to leave and go somewhere else so i don't know man i think the berlin people are kind of spoiled really really fucking spoiled and again think about it this place is a cultural institute now right it's become a cultural interest which basically means it's never going to close anytime soon unless obviously the founders decide to sell up and do other things the you know the state is never going to forcefully try and close Bergheim because it's essentially looked at as you know a heritage site whereas where what other club can you name in the world that has that kind of prestige you know adorned onto it basically means it's going to be around forever and they do a good job of kind of keeping it ticking over year in year out i think you know it's again yes is it not barnstorming cool but all things considered it's a fucking sick lineup like it really fucking is and see people complain about this shit i was like wow man these guys don't really know how good they have it honestly please spend the summer in london not even london come please spend the summer in fucking manchester and try and see how many weekends you can legitimately go out and have a really good night and and most of the time it's not even the fault of the promoters it's just going out it's just so fucking random here the you know the, the temperature the fucking the attitude of the people it's just all over the place even if you do all the right things you have the door picker you have all these type of things you still can't control how you're not especially if you work monday to friday and you want to go on a weekend you're having to rush home pre-drink leave your house by what 11 to get to the club or maybe 12 that might close at three honestly these people in berlin don't know how good they have it man they really don't know how good they have it but yeah big up Berghain. i love the venue i love the fucking lineup june 2024 is looking like a big one i'm not too sure what i'm gonna do in terms of the dates because i want to go to like four of these dates and obviously i don't live there <laughs> so i can't do all of them but i legitimately could go to the first of june for that particular night that's definitely what i want to i would definitely love to go to that I would also love to go on the following um on the 8th of june which is the one that Rene wise is closing i'd also then like to go to the one at the end which i think is the one that features dvs1 right is it the one no this is the one yeah on the 22nd yeah there's actually yeah, see, there's, there's actually more than that there's a 22nd one i want to go to dvs1 and gerd jansen and then there's a 29th one that features ben clock um set up mass and uh optimo and m balcomer playing in panel bar so there's literally four separate dates i could go to and these motherfuckers out here complaining oh it's not that many i want more i want this it's like bruh you guys in berlin don't know how bad other people have it you don't know how good you guys have it and this lineup is actually more than good in my opinion but again what do i know i don't know absolutely anything i don't know absolutely anything <laughs>